Hi, it's Elizabeth, and today I'm going to be doing a Cherry Culture uh, review, and it's a small review because I just got a couple of things. And I'm going to start out with the eyeshadows. I got three wild and crazy eyeshadows, and the first one is in Prom, and it's kind of a peachy pink red kind of color. And I'm not doing this with a base or anything, so it's like dark on my finger, and then when I put it on, it's still pretty dark. Yeah. And then the next one I, ha I got was Wistful Night, and it's a lilac purple kind of color. And this one's actually my favorite out of like the three of these. And they're pretty pigmented, they're really good. Um, this is just my favorite because I like purple, so... This is not my favorite because it's, like, more pigmented than the other. It's just, I like the color. And then the last one I got was Green Tea. Oh, well this is not the, this is the last one of, like, this brand. And this one's like a... It's like a... Well, kinda, it's kind of like a forest green meets lime green and it looks like this on me and then I got this blah blah floral duo, duo eyeshadow but it's really hard to open it has two sides. One's a darker brown, and the other one's like a butter pecan toffee kind of brown. And I actually like the dark, the darker brown. And this one. Sorry, I keep doing it further down each time I do it. I don't think you can see it. But I'll take pictures after because I'm not sure if you can see it. And then the second one of the duo is the like the toffee butter pecan side. And that one's kind of like it's kind of like orangey. This one uh, and that's it for the eyeshadows. And then I got some lipsticks. And I'm actually wearing one. I'm wearing this one, Terracotta. And this is the NYX, just the round lipsticks. And this one's a. It's kind of like a. It looks dark here, but it's really lighter. I'm wearing it now, and it's kind of like peachy orangey on me, but when you put it on, like, it's, well, maybe it's because I put, I have other gloss on top of it, but it comes out pretty dark when you first put it on, and I really like it, it's creamy, and it's pretty nice, and then this one's Indian pink, and this is a, it's kind of like a golden pink kind of color, it's really nice. the second one. And then I got two of these Zollin lipsticks. I, w I would have gotten all four, but they were sold out. And I got them because I like the packaging. And I didn't realize it then, but the packaging is cardboard. So, yeah. And this one's Twinkie Pink. And it, as you can see, it's pretty pink. Uh, it's really pink, so I... This one, the Zollin lipsticks, I don't really like it because it's pretty drying. Like, it dries out my lips. And then the next one is Cranberry Frost, which, to describe it, it's like cranberry. Like, the color is just like a cranberry red. And it's this one. And then I got 
these two amused lipsticks because they were super cute. And I was like, why not? And they actually last pretty long. This one, it, it looks kind of orange. And it's cherry. And it goes on a different color than what you see. So it goes on like a sheer pink. It's this one going down. Like, I don't think you can, I don't know if you can see it. Um, and the other one that I got was pineapple, which is purple. Why would pineapple be purple? But, anyways, yeah, it's purple in the tube, but when you put it on, it's like a, a violet-y kind of color, but it's sheer again. So, that's pretty good. And then I got this Amuse Tinted Lip Plumper, but I don't like this at all. It it doesn't plump, and it has like, the color itself is just weird. Like, it's a weird pink color. I don't know, maybe, maybe you might like it. I sure don't. <laughs> so this is the color. It's this one. And I'm pretty sure the camera won't get it, but it's like a weird color. Like a weird pink, like bright pink. Yeah, so that's it for my review on the Cherry Culture things that I got. And thanks for watching.